the Faraday PhD program is a great opportunity for, for anyone considering a, a PhD in batteries. A strength of the program has been the insight it's given me into the wider context of the push towards decarbonisation, sustainability through energy storage, not just the academic research, but the industrial research, the focus in policy and economics as well. I think the access you get to training and understanding of the fundamental technologies themselves, paired with the ability to communicate that. Normally with a PhD, you sort of get left to your own devices, you get focused on the finer details of your research, whereas with the Faraday Institution, you're kind of thrown in at the deep end, you're looking at all the different industrial processes, you're thrown into all the academics as well, um, there's a lot of networking opportunities. The network that they have between industry and academia is unheard of uh, elsewhere in the country for sure. That's how I got one of my first collaboration with a professor at NPL. It was just at a Faraday event, I just presented to him very convincingly my poster and the week after, that's it, that was the first uh, collaboration project. It's difficult to say what the highlight is because we've done a lot of cool things. <laughs> the highlight of the programme for me has been the Warwick Battery School. This gave a really hands-on introduction to the kinds of techniques that are being used in other areas of the battery community. We spent two weeks at the Springate Synchrotron in Japan doing uh, experiments there and that was, uh, that was a really great experience to be able to work in a, in a different country and a different research culture. Um, that's definitely something that would have not happened if I hadn't been with the Faraday. I've applied for a patent for which I'm the lead inventor for. It's been a really special experience to learn about the commercialization process as well. My most significant achievements during my PhD was the opportunity to start a company where we're trying to develop ways to more accurately model battery technology. The Faraday PhD program is unique. Many people around the world do research in batteries and energy storage, but not many people get to see the inside of a Nissan assembly line and get to talk to the engineers there. My proudest achievement so far in my PhD is that last year I attended an international conference and my talk was the highlighted talk of the session. Having this presenter training has just given me some extra confidence. The negotiation skills training that I undertook as part of our mini MBA has been vital in me achieving a role post PhD. I want to become an entrepreneur, but I did not have the tool set on how to progress forward. This bite-sized MBA really um, equipped me with the fundamental knowledge to reach higher. Being a STEM ambassador and having the presenter training helped me to realise that explaining science doesn't need to be complicated. It's not researchers that ask the most challenging question, it's children. You went from students who didn't know what a battery were and teaching them like what a lamb battery is and how it worked and explaining to them why it was important that we did further research on batteries in the UK. Really exciting and interesting to see what they think and how their mind goes to kind of like the highest application. So they've really challenged me on my understanding and how to really address the bigger issues. During my PhD, I was lucky enough to do an internship with uh, Row Motion, who are a battery consultancy based in London. My internship was in the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology. Jaguar Land Rover. In my case, it was a startup company working on new type of materials to increase the efficiency of solar panels. The Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Committee in the House of Commons. Empty Power up in Thurso on their battery pilot line and I looked to help build future battery cell technology. So working as an analyst for Exwar has given me the opportunity to look at the battery industry in a new light and to look at how people are innovating to solve these problems. It gave me a great insight into what the world thinks about batteries and I think bringing the understanding of, of the big picture has been really, really useful to building me as an individual researcher. Being in the cohort has put me in the right network of people and when I do need knowledge, I'll, I can contact the best people in their respective fields. But what you gain really is being part of this very diverse community that, you know, we're all together united by the same goal, which is uh, the progress of battery technology. And, and that's what Faraday Institution equips the PhD researchers with its aspirations to not just follow a scientific career, but to ground that scientific career in many different industries and use those skills to solve those problems. So I used to walk past a cafe during my undergrad that had a sign that said, change the world. And I always used to think this was a little bit silly because how was I gonna do this? But after going through my Faraday PhD, I now really believe that this is possible. I feel like 
I've answered a lot of questions throughout my PhD, but I've also opened up a lot more questions that um, I'm not ready to, to stop answering yet. <laughs>